This post-exposure prophylaxis um, that I already said that we are using is Combiver. They take one twice a day, so it's one in the morning and one at night, and they have to take it for 28 days. Do you ever have problems with compliance? How do you make sure that they're taking it every day? Okay, um, compliance is a bit of a problem for us um, because we are we we deal with people from a very poor economical status. We deal with people from poverty areas, so um, when they have come back in the three days, we never have a problem when they for them to return after three days because they will come and collect the medication and they need to find out what the results is. So they will come back after three days, and I think that is usually the critical time when you actually sit down and talk a lot about the actual post-exposure prophylaxis. Because that is the time when you actually empower the person to continue taking them for 28 days, the importance of taking them for 28 days, and then to make sure that they have some ways and means of getting back here. Because you must remember that if you live in an area where there is, um, it's far from the hospital maybe, or maybe you have money but you have the dilemma of, do I buy a bread or do I go to the hospital for medication? Obviously the person is rather going to buy a bread for their family instead of going to the hospital for medication. So we do have a problem with, uh, with uh, appliances, with um, adherence, and we try and deal with it effectively. Um, it's not always easy, but if we st I find that if you talk to the person and you tell them the importance of it, you'll find that that person will come back again at a for her follow-up um, date.